If you want to know how to get these amazing graphics in Greenville and in Roblox in general, make sure to stick around for this video as I will be explaining all of that. Hey there everyone, it's Greenville Reviews back with another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Blockstrap, the software to make your Greenville and Roblox experience 10 times better. Forewarning though, this, this software is not for the lowest ends of computers. This is also Windows only. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so step number one is going to be downloading this app from Microsoft.com. There are two links in the description. One is going to be GitHub and the other one is going to be this Microsoft.com website. Now, if you do already have desktop runtime installed on your computer, then you, you can skip step one and step two. If you don't, you're going ahead and click the link. It will automatically download this for you. Then you're gonna go to your downloads area of your internet browser and click and run it. Once you run it, it will install and you'll be done for step one and two. Step three is clicking the GitHub link that is in the description. Then from there, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click right here where it says the latest release of Blockstrap. From there, you're gonna scroll all the way down and you're gonna see right here this .exe file. That is the only file that you need for this tutorial. You're going to then click it and your browser is going to install it. Once it's done, you're gonna click it open and it's going to pop up this menu. There is a bunch of stuff you can do with this menu and a bunch of stuff you can do with the software in regards to Roblox in general. But for today's tutorial, it will just be under fast flag. From there, you're gonna scroll all the way down to where you're gonna see preferred lighting technology. From there, you're gonna change it from automatic to future is bright, and you're gonna click install. You're gonna make sure you click continue. Again, if you do not do step one and two, this will not work properly. So you need to make sure you follow this step by step. So again, this is not for the lowest sense of computers. This is Windows Open. You have been warned if you have any serious gameplay issues. Now I'm going to show you how it looks from Roblox itself. All right, so now that we've loaded it into Roblox, here is what's going to happen. So right now we're in Greenville and I'm gonna demonstrate you how this incredible software changes your entire roleplay experience. All right, so now that my car is loaded up, the best way to experience all the changes that have been made is to actually go into your private server, Engine's Night, or if you go into a public server, make sure it becomes Night. There's going to be a couple things that you're seeing here. First, let's go ahead and open up the phone for Greenville, and let's go ahead and take you into the camera mode, where there is a lot to talk about. First, as you can see, your headlights now super glow on the dark, and as well as you can see the reflections on your car itself. From there, you're gonna go ahead and move to the front of your car, where you're gonna see, especially if you have the new, if you have the new updated lighting for Greenville, you are going to see these amazing lights, and they also reflect pretty brightly on the floor, like it would in real life. Here are the blinkers as well that reflect on the floor and on the car itself. Now, do note that the buildings in Greenville, uh, well, for any game in general, buildings-wise won't be as good. It's mostly for outdoor driving, stuff like that. So, if you're gonna use this, please be warned that the buildings and stuff isn't super good with shadowing, it just depends on your mileage. Now, here are some other photos that I've taken of myself playing with these new shaders. That includes, like, the lights at, at the Fox intersection if you play Greenville. Also, some cars, uh, car-related photos that I took also at some other places as well. Now, let me take you through the process. If you need to modify, go into the menu little to change settings or to actually uninstall. The first thing you're gonna do is open up your settings. From there, you're gonna head over to apps. You're gonna go to installed apps. Then from there, you're going to see all of your apps installed for your computer. You're gonna locate Blockstrap. Once you locate Blockstrap, you're gonna go to the three bars or the three little dots and you're gonna click Modify. This is going to open up the menu for Blockstrap and in case you want to make any changes to the software itself for Roblox, this is where you would do it and then you click Save at the end. If you ever want to uninstall this, you're gonna click the three lines again and click Uninstall. It's gonna ask you again if you want to uninstall it, click it and then it will be uninstalled from your system. I hope everyone enjoyed this video on how to download Blockstrap, the amazing software that will completely transform your Roblox games. Now, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all next time in my next video. This is Green Review signing off. Everyone have a lovely day. Bye now.